Much appreciated, Grant. And the 2011 Ohio football schedule is what many are calling one of the weakest in the country, and it actually starts out that way. The Bobcats hit the road to start the season to Las Cruces, New Mexico, to take on New Mexico State, a team that was just 2-10 last year. The Bobcats return home for their home opener at Peden Stadium for, against an FCS opponent in Gardner-Webb. Then they'll close out September a little bit more difficultly against Marshall, that's a home game they lost by just one point last season, and then go on the road, a Big East opponent in Rutgers who had one of the worst years in program history, kind of an anomaly. I look for them to be a little better come this year. Then October hits, it's MAC play. MAC play does get started, and that's Kent State at home, and that's going to be parents weekend, but it also could be a revenge game for Ohio because the Bobcats had their last loss of the season last year, kicking them out of the MAC championship. The next three games in October, not tough sledding for the Bobcats. They go to Buffalo, Ball State is here at Peden for homecoming, and then to close out the month of October, they head to Akron. Then November hits, the wacky schedule we've been talking about all summer really gets underway where the middle of your week becomes Saturday. It all starts with Temple. One of the best teams in the East year in and year out, and one of the best backfields in the conference. Pierce and Brown, the Ohio Bobcat defense is going to have to be on point if they want to stop those two. But they should be dialed in by then. The next two weeks at Central Michigan and at Bowling Green, two teams Ohio really should take care of unless disaster hits. Those should be two W's for Ohio. Then they close it out. It all culminates with this. The Battle of the Bricks, November 22nd, a primetime game against Miami really could decide the MAC East. Has a great potential to decide the MAC East, and uh, of course the rivalry adds so much to it. And Grant, just a little point of reference, the, the four teams Ohio plays on the road in conference, they only had five in-conference wins last season. Just for your notebook.